Hello, it's Ben with the DIY Homefront channel, and I'm back with another video. It's the end of the year, and I have finished cutting the grass for the last time, and it's time to take care of the lawnmower before next year. So I'm going to play shade tree mechanic today and work on my lawnmower. I don't know what it is. Um, I would much rather spend an hour after a chore putting things away than I would spend 15 minutes before I start a toy trying to get stuff together. So if I have to change the lawnmower blades or do anything, grease it, I always do it when I'm done cutting the grass because the last thing I want to do is pull the lawnmower out and then start working on it before I even get anything done. So I'm going to finish drinking my Coke and then I'll show you what I got set up and we'll start working on the lawnmower. I've got my companion dog at and ready's notice. But there is the lawnmower. Hey, can you notice anything odd about the front wheels? They both point out. <laughs> Obviously, I've hit a tree or hit a root or hit something one too many times and bent something. It's to the point where it's starting to wear the uh, wear the tread off the tires. <laughs> There's these uh, control arms that connect from the steering wheel to the wheels. And I found some that actually are adjustable, like on an ordinary car, so that you can adjust the alignment of the front tires. So I'm going to put those on. And then when I'm done with that, I'll probably Get the grease gun out and grease everything up real good. It's, uh, I've done this once before, not with adjustables, but just replaced them because the links wear out with all the sand that I have around here. They get up into uh, they get up into these joints where they move around and wear the metal out, and eventually the screw just this whole thing just pops out. And then I've got my tools laid out. A couple wrenches, and I always say I'm going to use it. I never do. Two brand new pair, of, brand new pair of gloves. I had two of them in the tool drawer. Probably got them as a Christmas present two years ago or something. But anyway, I'll put those on. Maybe I'll protect my fingers this time. I'm trying to think what the last fix it I did. The last fix it I did was this. <laughs> It kept coming off. The uh, pin that came through had a clip on. Just like snapped on one end. And it would keep popping off. And this would come off. So I went to the hardware store and got a length of threaded rod. And two lock washers. Lock washers have a nylon bearing in them. So they won't come loose once you turn them on. And put that on. I have no idea where the spring is that's supposed to hold it down. But that was the last fix I had to do. Anyway, I guess I'll just get to work. Man, that tire is. That's a racing slick, isn't it? That thing is about bald. Some clips. There should be four all together. There's one there. One way up there. Right there. And then there's two on the other side. And that'll let the deck fall down and you can slide it out. So I will do that real quick. I don't need... You wanna lower the deck all the way down. Put on the fancy dancy gloves. Can you see that? Can you see how you have to lift one side up to get it out? When it's clipped in, it'll be like that. So you have to, you have to pull the one side up. Here we go. See, I 
to push it down. And that'll let you slide it down. There you go. Stuff up there so I don't misplace it. And washer. Same type of clip. And like I said, always put these someplace safe. We see this we need to slide this belt up over each of these tabs and the belt just falls off and then we can and then we can just push this out of the way That's the old one there, and there's no way to adjust it. It's just the ball. Let's go ahead and get that off of there. 13 it is, right? 13? 13 a little tight. But 12 is too loose. All right, let's get... All right, that was the easy one to get loose. I have adjusted this one as far as it will go this way, which means it's shorter, which means it should pull this to it, which means it should straighten up the front wheels as much as possible. I don't know if it will all the way, but we will see. Now see how hard it is to get that one. I should have drove the lawnmower over my rug is what I should have done. This is the one that is usually the ultimate pain in the butt. I don't know, maybe I will be able to get you in here. I don't know where I could put the camera where you could see that. I want you to be in the loop. I want you to see all my struggles. I don't want you to see me beat the camera to death. I don't know if that'll work or not where you can see, but we'll try. Oh, you got a plastic cover on you, don't you? You little beastie. It's got a plastic cover. How am I going to get that plastic cover off? Make it up as you go. My problem is I've got a protective sleeve right there keeping me able to get to the top of the nut. So I'm going to have to actually put the camera down. A big nut there somewhere. <clears throat> There we go. 
if this will work. I cheated by wedging my bolt up in there so that I could turn just the bottom one instead of the top. And eventually this should fall out. There we go. There we go. Ta-da! And we are replacing it with this one, which I don't think is going to be much better. This might require some more work. I think I might have to unscrew this one all the way and drill out some more and tap it in some more. Either that or grind it down so I can get it farther in. Bummer, dude. So I only see one real solution. Right now the threads only let it go in about that far. And I need it to go all the way in. So I'm going to take and grind off about half of this. And I think I'll be able to push this thing all the way to the end. I'll make it a lot shorter. Let me go get the grinder and we'll cut this off. And it'd be a great time for me to get a Coca-Cola break. All right, I have come and got my grinder. I've got what I consider safety glasses on. And I have my weed eater right here. And I had a gas tank right next to me. Make sure you put any gas tanks or any gas somewhere where the sparks can't get to. Try not to hold things too, um, too close to your fingers with the grinder. I've got a grinder that I can use when I want to do serious grinding that plugs into the wall. But these battery ones, man, just for the quick, something needs to be done and you don't want to have to get out the extension cords or someplace too far away, like when I was hanging up the swing. You know, trying to get an extension cord to where the swing was would have been a real pain in the butt. But just having a portable one makes it easy. Oh well. One last thing before we head off. Finished off that coat, didn't we? It took me a while to figure this out. When I was younger, I was always in such a hurry to get stuff done that a lot of times I didn't enjoy the process. So this may be a little frustrating, but you know, I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying figuring things out. I'm gonna really enjoy it when the wheels are straight to be the first time in like four or five years I've owned this mower that the wheels will be pointing in the right direction. But enjoy what you do. I got my project right there, right? And if it gets too bad and I need a break, I can get a Coke. and I can get in the hammock and take a 10 minute breather. Like I said, sometimes you're such in a hurry to get stuff done, you can't even enjoy the process. Now I'm, I'm looking, looking forward again and I'm thinking, that took years. One year we built the greenhouse. Another year we got the pavers and the raised beds. Another year I built the pergola. But it's nice sometimes just to sit back and enjoy what you've done, to appreciate it. There's birds in the background singing. Rascal likes to chase the lizard, so it's always fun. Don't be such a hurried life, you can't enjoy it. I should say that twice. Don't be in such a hurry in life trying to get stuff done that you can't enjoy it. Another reason to uh, 
work on a rug is when you drop stuff on the ground, you don't end up losing little washers and whatnots. So, it looks like it's the same way on this one. Find the one that fits on it. Let's do that. That would be much easier, wouldn't it? There we go. Oh, camera down again. Camera down. I mean, that's hot to the touch. I'm just doing that. Look at the end of the threads, how boogered up they are. Let's go cut a little meat off of this one. There we go. And now I need to do the next one. Did not need much grease. That's why I took the glove off. I said I wouldn't get grease all over the glove if I decided to put a little bit of grease on this. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. That sure doesn't look right. And now I realize why it doesn't look right the wrong end to put in there. I was like, man, it just doesn't look right. That did not look right to me. And the reason why is that it's supposed to be like this. That makes more sense. So those are two we didn't use. Let's turn these wheels straight. That should be straight, and this wheel should be straight. It's a good thing I grinded as much of the threads off as I did, so that I could shorten it up as much as it possibly could be shortened, because it took that much to make them straight. I think for the first time in probably six years, both of the wheels are pointing in the same direction. I should have done this a long time ago. So let me finish tightening up all the bolts and then I'll clean my mess up and then we'll get into uh, grease and everything that can be greased. Instead of throwing this away, I'm going to hang on to it. It may be used, but if one of those break, I can always use this temporarily until the next one comes in. I had ordered those pieces and it took about a month and a half for them to come in because they were back ordered over the summer. Okay, on to hooking up the deck. Slide it 
get it back. Find where the pieces go. Let's get one in. <clears throat> And the drive belt goes back on the same way it came off. Keep the belt up over the little retainers and it goes around. And on the other side, it's the same way too. It's got, and it's got a little thing on the other side too that it goes over and keeps it pretty much in place. There we go. I put this one on. I'm gonna go see if I can find another washer real quick. Hit my bag of goodies. I found my other washer on the ground on the other side. So I gotta go back and take this one off one more time. Side's done, that side's done. Here we go, it's right there. Ta da! There we go. I wish they were all the way. That damn one's going easy. Awesome. My wheels won't point in the wrong directions. How crazy is that? All right, I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll try to have something out for you soon. Until then, thanks.